Monday. Ugh, car. Someone asked me to review the Tesla like long term. It's a car. It has things about it that are cool. It has things about it that are annoying. If it wasn't such a headache to sell it, I'd probably sell it. Not because I don't like the car, but because I don't want a fucking car. Because the world's crazy. Yesterday, Governor Sisolak, governor here, here in Nevada. Starting tomorrow, it has a new name. It's not stay at home, it's something stupid. It's got a stupid name like pause, like work, work pause or social pause. I don't know, something stupid. But basically at this point, most things are running at 50% capacity if they're open. All of those things need to be shut down at 25% for three weeks. And then at three weeks, they will reassess the situation and see if we need to go into a full lockdown with no gym, dining in, no this, no that. Now I don't really care about many of these things, but obviously now, I care about the gym. Also annoyed that this is never going to end and that there's no uh, no consistency, which with the lack of consistency creates apathy. It's hard to care about the same thing for a long time. You get fatigue on giving a fuck. Is it super uh, savage for me to be like, you know, fuck it, people want to die, I want to go to the gym. They're not exclusive. No, I don't think that. I don't think I should get to go to the gym and grandma should die. Definitely better way to do this. And one of those better ways would be to give every single human being on this planet money. If you're not gonna give everyone money and you're one of those people who are against giving everyone money, I'm talking about in the Ks. 10K a fucking week, honestly. Politicians know what it's like to spend 10K a week. Get the fuck out of here. 10K a week ain't even a fucking week at the fucking St. Regis. Let's get serious. I don't know if you watched Walking Dead or any movie where people are trying to survive against other people. Lord of the Flies, whatever. Fuck Survivor. I've been watching a lot of Survivor lately. I mean, it's not like anyone's having fun. It's not like you're really looking forward to that life. The governor says that as long as you're spending money, the virus can't hurt you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy fuck. Today was no goddamn joke, son. Deadlift six for seven. Oh man, back is screaming right now. We're going home, we're making food, we're painting all day long, which I'm excited about. These little Japanese paintings are fun. Finally found the fun in painting life. If you've been home for a while, we've eaten, my back is crushed. Crushed. Of course, this is so fucked. I've spent the morning researching motherfucking workout equipment because Here's the deal. As you know, we joined this really fancy gym up the street. The gym is pretty expensive. It's really nice. They're probably gonna end up shutting down. This morning, the vibe was a little different and maybe I probably should have prepared for this before. I didn't really think about another shutdown, honestly. All I care about right now and all I'm focused on is making stuff, going to the fucking gym and riding my bike and eating a lot of food. That's like pretty much it other than my normal love life and dog life. You know, like that's all I care about. Doing YouTube videos, we have to have a life. Basically, long story short, I don't want to miss out when they close down. Stuff sells out a lot now. People even resell fucking weights because people are losers and they have nothing to do with standing in the way of other people trying to do things with their lives. One good thing about our gym is that it's cancelable. Most gyms you cannot cancel. It's like a contract, you have to stay there. With Lifetime Fitness, you are actually allowed to cancel your membership as long as you give them 30 days notice. It's gonna take at least that long for me to even get shit in. Like nothing is shipping right now. We ordered a rack today, like a squat rack bench rack situation. It's from Rogue, I don't remember the name of it. It's like the uh, SL7 or something. But basically we have everything that we need to start on the way. Uh, we won't have a pulley machine. That kind of sucks. But right now I'm just going to kind of get the stuff in, start building out the home gym, and then, you know, find out when the right time to maybe cancel my membership will be. Bench, squat, and deadlift. Main three. Rows. These are all things that I can do with that. I have a bench. I have free weights. Technically, I don't love my free weights, but they will do. I have kettlebells. So all we really need is the bar, which I ordered from Rogue, and the weights. The weights. The weights are what's sold out everywhere. But there is this company, PRX, that my boy Sal turned me on to, that apparently was on Shark Tank. We don't have any options and we wanna start moving stuff in and it's not gonna get any better uh, closer to Christmas. Didn't wanna spend any money at all, but in the long run, the gym membership is like $250 a month for me and Alex. Jay's gonna be here, Jay's gonna wanna work out, he's not gonna wanna spend $160 it takes for the one person to work out. It might be a better investment of time, money in the long run just to start building out my own so that I don't have to worry about this shit. So we're ordering weights right fucking now. I did not want to do this. I did. But we're gonna sell the bike. Like I'm pretty sure now like that's definitely just happening, no doubt. Even though it'd be cool to have an exercise bike in the 
in the home gym. And then of course resellers would argue that this is a this is a luxury item. This is not a luxury. You know, you're telling me that it's a luxury to want to lose weight. <laughs> it's a luxury to get fit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds that sounds legit. One day breathing will be considered a luxury, I guess. We're sprouting. We're always sprouting up in here, dog. Getting everything ready, preparing for the paint session. But what I've been doing since I can't watch the Japan vlog or I can't go to Japan. So I've just been rewatching the Japan vlogs and getting inspired by my own trip to paint my own paintings. You know, because when you're walking around Japan, you're inspired to work. But then you're having fun. It's my biggest life struggle is when I'm having fun, I want to be working and when I'm working, I want to be having fun. Gotta figure it out. This is gonna be our uh, new gym setup here. This is gonna be it. We're gonna, this is next week's project. Probably have tons of shit we can sell on eBay and wherever, whatever. Start getting ready for the gym equipment to get here, which is gonna take a couple of weeks. And then start looking for some other stuff. Definitely gonna need to get like a pull-up bar and a dip rack. And we're gonna need a pulley system of some sort. And we'll probably get other things here and there. But this is the start. We're gonna get intense, bro. We'll be able to be out in the fucking garage getting intense. Well, today, today, my friends, the gym was the worst. To start things off, some prissy, see, this is what's fucked up. See, this is what's fucked up. See, like, I'm gonna get trapped into giving a fuck about masks. It's not about the mask. It's about your fucking attitude. So this girl and her fucking boyfriend, let's take this in here. I gotta cook. This is the reason I'm in the kitchen. We don't got time for cooking. We gotta go on this rant right now. I'm walking to the gym. Today's the first day of the mask mandate. It's okay, it's fine. This girl doesn't have her mask on, so she's holding the door open while she's trying to put her mask on. So she's just in the way. She's just not, you're not holding the door open for me, you know? You're just holding the door because you're too fucking stupid to actually like, put your mask on in time. I mean, I've said it a hundred times, I hate gyms. This gym is really nice, but like now that I've changed my mind, this fucking chick, I just walk past her because you're in the way, so let me just walk past her. I don't say anything. And she goes, you're welcome. First off, I can't stand when someone says you're welcome before. Or I say thank you. But I also wasn't gonna say thank you because you weren't holding the door open for me. Oh shit, I'm not ready. You can go in front of me. You go ahead and go in front of me. Of course I'm gonna go in front of you, fool. You're not ready. You'll be ready for life. You weren't even ready for the gym, bitch. And then her boyfriend's got an attitude. And then her boyfriend goes and talks to a fucking dude who's running at full speed. Definitely a cop, dude. Had to be definitely a cop. Sorry if you're a cop. This dude's definitely a cop. Fucking uh, elevation training mask. He takes his mask off and they start talking. And then they're just talking for like 10 minutes. And then he looks at me a few times. Now I don't know if he was trying to get slapped in the face with a dumbbell or not, but it gave off that vibe. But the masks are off. Everybody's masks are off, which I don't care. I'm not a fucking, I don't see trap. I don't care. I don't give a fuck that you have your mask off. I don't give a fuck that you believe in this or that. And third, but I do give a fuck that these are the rules that have been set up in order to keep the gym open. Now, do I think that that's fucking fair? Air, this, that, and third, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what you believe in. If the rules can actually affect you, it doesn't matter. If I don't think stealing is wrong, it doesn't matter because the fucking law says it's wrong and they'll put me in jail. So you have to fucking like have common sense or else you will pay for the repercussions of your fucking actions. The repercussions of other people's actions is what people like us, you, me, whoever, are having to pay for. So I'm like, yo, these motherfuckers with their masks off are just gonna get the gym shut down. Now you can just put that on a macro level, like that make the whole city, state, country, whatever shut down. Three employees, three employees had to come up to this fucking cop and tell him to put his fucking mask back on. And every time he would put it back on for a second, pull it back down and keep talking. Now these two motherfuckers are in the gym just to talk. Yes, I guess this is just the fucking powwow place. Like maybe he's a snitch and then he had to hit him, meet, meet me by the treadmill God damn it if it wasn't annoying as fuck. I'm glad that I've decided to build the home gym anyway. Like, fuck these motherfuckers. And of course, homie's wearing a gym shark shirt. Of course, why wouldn't he be? So now I have just the fucking life vendetta against gym shark. And it's not even fair to gym shark, but fuck it. You know, you gotta do it. I'm about to make food. I'm about to make potatoes. It's like my favorite thing now is hash browns. <laughs> Wednesday. I don't think I've picked up the camera today. 
literally just painting. About to go on a bike ride. Omar is very stoic right now. What are you doing with your ACDC rocker on, dude? Dogs are chilling. Uh, yeah, just dropped net gators for friends and family. Uh, net gators are gonna go live for the rest of the world, probably December 1st. So there's a mystery bag drop coming for friends and family as well, but I don't know if it'll make it to the public or not. It just depends. I really don't know. We're just getting ready for Thanksgiving. Alex's parents were thinking about coming in town, but they're not coming in town. We just ordered food from Lucille's barbecue spot down the street that we like ate at the first week we were here. Literally the first time I took a bite of Lucille's, I just said, we should get this on Thanksgiving. Uh, unlocked my brain. Really good time with these, so I'm super excited. And uh, hopefully the people who bought them are super excited to get the ones you get. They're all really cool. I'm not saying that just because I made them, but so far, they're all pretty cool. And I may even paint some extras and throw them up on the website so that there's a uh, collection. You know what I mean? Like a one through whatever number. I don't even remember the number right now. Godzilla in there. Fun stuff. Good times. We're getting ready for the holidays. Right, bubs? You ready for some turkey? You ready for some turkey tomorrow? I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna give you some. All right, bicycle. It's official, it's official. You know how you know it's official? Full on. Basically, if we've crossed a threshold, and that threshold is I now have a gallon water to drink, to carry around, like a mobile gallon. This didn't exist when I was younger. You had to actually just carry around the full gallon, kind of like a gym douchebag. Which, hey, I did it, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Sometimes you gotta get douchey. Now I have this crystal tangerine fade here. But yeah, make sure I get these gallons in, son. <laughs> it's doing great before I started filming. Well, today is a holiday. Uh, it's whatever, you know. Um, Thanksgiving is cool, you get to eat a lot of food, I guess. Today is a day that we've set aside to give thanks. The key though, the real gym, is to give thanks every day. Which a lot of you out there probably already understand, but this is the commercialization of being thankful. So some people need a reminder, some people need a family gathering this year. If you have a gathering of more than 10, you'll be shot on sight. Crazy times, everyone keeps saying it. Maybe if we stop calling it crazy times, it'll stop being crazy. It's like a girl you're dating, you call her crazy, she keeps getting crazier. I personally try to wake up every day and be grateful for what I have and not look at what I don't have. That is a very hard practice. I generally try to start my first 20 minutes of my day being grateful for things before I even get on the internet. I like to lay there with my dog. I kiss Alex. I get out of bed. I'm grateful that I'm healthy enough to do what I can do. I'm grateful I have the opportunity to get healthier and I'm grateful that I get to create art for a living. I try to remember my fortunate circumstances every single day. I don't ever want to turn my back on them. So um, I hope you and your family if you're gathering or doing good i hope if you hate thanksgiving you are finding the funniest memes and you're making the shittiest tweets you can i hope if you love thanksgiving everyone is at your house covid free and you're all dressed up um in different fall colors and you take pictures and there's leaves if you're vegan i hope that you liberated the turkey today i just really want everybody to get along i just want to make fun of everything you know that's that's where we're at in life gym legs we're about i'm actually gonna go fasted today when i'm not fasting because i want to fast i don't really to put on muscle fasting is a no-go it's not really what we want to do and as i'm saying this i'm like uh teddy maybe you shouldn't go fasted we're gonna eat a fuck ton Pause. I brought my calories back up because I lost six pounds in the week. So, I was, all right, too, too low. Back up, we're at 3,300. I'm gonna eat a lot of food today. I'm gonna go over 3,300 calories today, which is totally fine, totally cool, because tomorrow we'll eat a little less, the next day we'll eat a little less and we'll balance it all out. The key is just knowing how much we eat. I lied, I went back inside because I forgot my headphones. I grabbed a piece of bread because my stomach started growling. This is like, maybe not the smartest idea. Uh, there's definitely no protocol that says, hey, just eat a fucking slice of bread 10 minutes before you go to the gym and train legs heavy, but I'm gonna see what happens. The gym parking lot is actually empty. That's never this fucking, this is the emptiest it's ever been. My dad broke his fucking hip, so nobody's doing okay, the zip. Alex's father saw snow, decided it was a good idea to go ride his bike in the snow. This is a man, pause, who has been an avid cyclist for at least 40 years fell, and should know better. Fell off his bike, broke his hip, rode his bike home, and is now currently in emergency surgery. Alex is probably gonna move back to Colorado. I'm gonna be stuck here by myself. This kitchen is gonna look crazy if that happens. Forever. Anyway, what we have, a whole sweet potato pie. <gasps> sweet potato pie. Half a dozen 
Oh, Should I have ha, ha, ha. don't even open them. You just let them incubate. Incubate. Oh, we yeah. gotta bake it all still. That's you right. Think they're just in there cooking all. We gotta stuff make fresh. it all. Biscuits. Mmm. That's right. Supper. Get up in here. You're too far away. What are you doing? What are these angles? These dirty urn angles. Get these dirty urn angles out of here. The box, Alex. Reheating instructions. Oh. We've got apple butter. You need to put like sparkles and like. We got real butter. We got Coca Cola glaze for the ham. Apple butter. We got yams. Stuffing. Dressing. Whatever you want to call it. We got mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Gravy with the giblets inside. Potatoes. We got veggies. Ham. And we got turkey. And we ain't gonna cook nothing. I'm just gonna heat it up. So heat it up. I'm starving. I'm fucking so hungry right now. Mac and cheese. Mac, mac, get cheese. Oh, it's all coming out. Hey. Hey, you turkey. Get out of there. World War Z. Unrated version. Two hours and three minutes of pure carnage. Fast paced pulse pounding epic <laughs> of the potential last days of the human race. Here we go. Tryptamine and chill. Yeah, I'm gonna be going to sleep. It is the day after Thanksgiving. So, also known as Black Friday. I fucking hate Black Friday, dog. I hate it. We don't do Black Friday sales ever. The only time we did a Black Friday drop is we gave away shirts for free on Black Friday. Yeah, yesterday the food was amazing. I uh, overate like a motherfucker. I tried to track the food, but couldn't get like a real clear indication of actual nutrition info because it's not the regular menu. So I did my best to guess and then I also picked a lot, you know what I mean? So I definitely, definitely went way over what I was supposed to eat yesterday, and especially in the carbohydrate department. I normally eat like 325 carbs a day right now, and dog, I think we were in like the 600s before I could even figure out what was going on. I'm not, I'm fasted again today. Now yesterday's fast before working out was whatever. I felt okay. I felt pretty good. Um, it wasn't even really a fast because I had a piece of bread. It wasn't a fast at all. So yesterday's light meal before working. And there's no science, I don't think, to support this. Some people may not even like suggest you do it, especially from like a muscle building standpoint. But I honestly, physically don't feel good, you know? Like I feel like way too full still. So I'm not, I'm definitely not eating, you know? So I'm just going in, I'm gonna get this chest upper body workout in pretty high volume. It's like my high volume day. So I'm kind of like eager to see how it makes me feel. Could have drank some BCAAs before this, but I don't really, I don't really know if I really believe in them fully. So, um, and uh, I, I really, I just can't eat right now. If I put even a shake right now, I'm gonna throw up. So, um, yeah, I'm just not doing it. I also ordered a black one. The Salmon Breeze one showed up. So the Salmon Breeze one's starting to give off a vibe. It's not the vibe I want to give off. Pretty empty. Not bad. Not bad. It's not bad. People still asleep. People still asleep out there. We're out here. Won't be a fucking full Gym Shark ad today. Hopefully. Yesterday it didn't start off as a Gym Shark ad, but it turned in. Gym Shark, I'm sorry. It's personal now. Upper body, whatever you want to call it, workout is over. I was. Totally fine fasted. I get back to my regular eating schedule now and uh, just get to work. It's uh, just pretty much Friday, getting ready for the weekend. You know, you know, same stuff, different day. We're gonna paint. Continue the painting attack of Japanese series. Blank pages, dog. Nothing but opportunity. Thank you. 